Our God is full of majesty and he's a good God. By his mercies, we are alive today. My name is Akinkomi Thomas. I pastor one of the parishes of the Redeemed Christian Church of God called Living Bread, Newcastle. And today we'll be looking at the open heavens as authored by the general overseer of the Redeemed Christian Church of God, Pastor Ye Adeboe. And our Bible passage is taken from Revelations chapter 3, verse 7 to 11. And to the angel of the church in Philadelphia writes, This thing said he that is holy, he that is true, he that has the key of David, he that opens, and no man shuts, and shuts, and no man open. I know thy works. Behold, I have set before thee an open door, and no man can shut it. For thou hast a little strength, and hast kept my word, and hast not denied my name. Behold, I will make them of the synagogue of Satan. We say they are Jews, and are not, but do lie. Behold, I will make them to come, and worship before thy feet, and to know that I have loved thee, because thou hast kept the word of my patience. I also will keep thee from the hour of temptation, which shall come upon all the world to try them that dwell upon the earth. Behold, I come quickly. Hold fast that which thou hast, that no man take thy crown. Our memory verse, First Corinthians chapter 15, verse 58. Therefore, my beloved brethren, be ye steadfast, unmovable, always abounding, and the work of the Lord, for as much as you know that your labor is not in vain in the Lord. Our reflections. We have been looking at these personal letters of our Lord Jesus Christ to these seven churches in the book of Revelations. If you observe, you will notice that the church mentioned in our Bible passage of today, the church in Philadelphia was perhaps the only one that was not rebuked in any way or manner. All that the Lord wrote to this church was about encouraging them to hold on to and continue in the ways they have been walking with him. He also promised them that if they walk fast, then he will open a special door before them that no man will be able to shut. I believe the door is talking about new opportunities and new blessings. This church was not that strong in the measurements of men. However, as seemingly weak and seemingly insignificant as the church was, they did not fail to keep the word of the Lord, nor deny his name among the Eden. They refused to reduce their faith and commitment to the Lord. They refused to allow any situation or circumstances to cause them to live in unbelief and thereby dishonor God. Brethren, faith in God is very pleasing to Him. If we live in unbelief, we stand in danger of bringing displeasure to the Lord and to the heart of the Father. Some people in church have unfortunately stopped believing that Jesus will come back again. The coming of the Lord is no longer a popular message in churches today. However, my counsel to you is to hold fast to what we have and we should not let anyone rob us or deprive us of our own crown when Jesus eventually appears at the time of, of the Father. Therefore, we should live our everyday lives as if each day is going to be our last. Doing this will, in case, appears as it is today. Stop comparing yourself to other people, but rather mind your business with God alone. After all, He has promised to save us from the time of tribulation that will befall the earth very soon. May God bless and keep you from tribulations and troubles. Amen. I want to encourage you, brethren, trust this God. Have faith in him. Obey him. Do his will. Just like the church in Philadelphia. I want you to know, he that will come, will come. It may tarry, but it will surely come. Our action point. Find out areas where you have been exercising unbelief and repent today. May the Lord bless you. May the Lord grant you the grace to live for him and to obey him. And I am believing God that together we will see him face to face. And we will be with him forever in eternity. God bless you. Enjoy the rest of the day. I'll see you again. Bye for now.